Well, are you still having trouble making evergreen trees? <laughs> well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cluster of evergreen trees. And not only that, I'm going to show you about highlighting and also tree placement. So my name is Jovette, in case you haven't seen me before. I'm glad you joined me today. And so, well, let's just go get started in the studio. Okay, to begin, this is a recycled canvas because I don't like to waste things. And um, as you can see, I've already lightly put on a background. And what we're going to do is just plain evergreen trees today. Very simple. Um, I have mixed just all my dark colors, blue, crimson, brown, green, and black. Made a pile, and I have a, a fan brush that I am just going to flip and load it very heavily. Coming up to the canvas, I want to put, let's say, one tree here, maybe one here, and maybe one here. So I like to do threes a lot of times. Okay, so starting out, I'm going to do the large one first, the tall one first, and just take the very tip of your brush and just make a couple of little spots on the top. Notice that my angle of my handle is down, and as I come down the tree, I sort of fill in a little bit in the middle. I start pressing a little bit harder. And as I come down, I get a little bit wider. Flipping the brush gives you fresh paint. And just come all the way down to your land area. That's it. Again, I'm going to reload. And I'll do the one next to it here. Just a little tip here. Sometimes it's okay to leave a, a space. You know, the birds like to land in there sometimes. <laughs> and as I come down, I just start pressing a little more firmly. And filling in. Now sometimes it's unbalanced, like this one I have a, a, a branch that's sticking out kind of weird. Well, you can easily fix that by just going to the other side and just tapping in so that it's balanced the way you like it. Easy enough to do, huh? Okay, let's do one more. These take a lot of practice. It took me forever to learn how to do these trees. And remember, I'm a left-hander. So if you're a right-hander, just grab a mirror and look at the um, look in the mirror at the computer screen or whatever you're looking at, and I will magically become a right-hander. A neat little trick. <laughs> okay, so I think that looks very nice. It's very evenly balanced. I could even put another one, even a taller. One. Let's do that. That would be fun. Just put a taller one in here. And what it does is just kind of break up the edge of the canvas here. Just tapping, tapping, tapping. As I come down further, I tap harder. I do fill in the center a little bit. Yeah, that look that made it nice. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's go to the other side. Uh, let, maybe we'll have just uh, three over here. So I'm going to have one, let's have a taller one here. Just with the corner of the brush, just tap lightly. As you come down, tap a little bit firmer, a little bit firmer, and spread out a little bit. There you go. And let's do another one right here. Tap. Oh, these are turning out nice. I like them. Uh, so how about an itty bitty one here? And notice that the trees are not all standing stick straight up in the air. 
and when you're done just kind of like bring this down a little bit this kind of makes a little shadow for the trees I want to highlight these trees now oh first let's put in just a little bit of a um, little bit of a trunk to do this I'm just going to grab some color here a little white and just pull it down and I'm going to take my knife grab a little roll of paint and just come in and dab just in a few places you don't want this all over you don't want solid trunks here here See, just enough so it just sort of gives you a little indication. There. Beautiful. Okay, um, now I want to make a, sh um, a highlight color. So again, my fan brush, I'm going to go into a little yellow, a little green, flipping the brush. Well, all it does is thin the paint out, make it a little bit easier, because thin paint will stick to a thick thick paint but not the reverse. So once the brush is nicely loaded, again, let's try this one here. Come to the top, just dab, and we're just highlighting not a whole lot, just a little bit. And I don't go all the way to the bottom. Again, loading, and let's do this one. Do another one. And one more. And when I'm doing this, I'm kind of looking for the places where the highlight would be on top of a branch. I'd really like to make those trees pop and so let's say the Sun is coming in let's have the Sun coming in from this side so what I would do is again get a little bit of paint on my brush some yellow white touch of green and this is a very 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 light bright color light would be coming in this from this way this little one here So you want to concentrate most of this brighter color on the right side. Start up at the top. And it's just a kind of a feel. You just develop a feel for it. There's a ton of ways to make an evergreen tree. Fan brush is not the only thing that you can use. You can use a lot of different brushes, but this is just one way of doing it. 
Um, one nice thing you can do while you've got all these colors on your brush and you don't want to just throw all that paint away, um, it really makes just, just the fan brush can make a nice grassy area just by pushing up like so. See that? It just makes really nice little grassy areas. And you can just fill in until you are satisfied with what you like. And you can bring this up. And then it just, it looks like real grass. Now that did not look too hard, did it? <laughs> this is one of those things that you're going to really have to practice if you want to get good at evergreen trees. Uh, it doesn't come natural. So what I want you to do is just grab your brushes and I want you to go start practicing. <laughs> okay, uh, here's another video you might enjoy and I will see you next month with a brand new video. Bye!